Please don't give God the leftovers of your tiredness. Reverence demands you be an alert when it's prayer time. And get creative in your praying. Get out of your middle ruts and understand silence. For you to be silent and understand the silence of God, that is no excuse for not praying. We're going to do a little exercise here. And I'm not going to take long with this. Sometimes I do. But the number just, we don't have much time. we got to hear Miss Tenney tonight. Think of a problem that you've been praying over. Everybody close your eyes. I want you to think of a problem that you've been praying over. And you really, really need an answer from God. Put it in your mind. Now I want you to pray this prayer with me. You can repeat after me. Lord Jesus, cleanse my mind from distractions. Cleanse my heart from any sin. Forgive me for anything I've done today that would keep me from hearing your voice. Lord, I commit myself to listening to you. Okay, now look at me for a minute. You don't, we don't have long time periods to hear it, and I don't have time to give testimonies about what God's fixing to speak to you guys. I do this sometimes. We have testimonies. You will not believe what God tells people. It's incredible. Uh, but God is going to speak to you. He's going to do it in our silence, not in our noise. And I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to the worship. You know that. But this is another aspect of prayer you need to learn. He may address us publicly. He may address you silently. But he, you are going to hear from God. Now here's the deal with us. We are not comfortable with silence. Especially Pentecostals. <laughs> But we've cleansed our mind. We've cleansed our heart. We have this request in our mind. Now I'm going to ask us all to sit here. We're only going to do it for a little, for just a minute. We're going to sit in silence as we're cleansed vessels. And we're going to ask God, speak to me and give me that answer. Because you know what? Just like when, when my kids come to me and say, hey, can I have $5 to go to McDonald's? If I have $5, I'm going to give it to them. You know? Or can, can I have my lunch money at school? <laughs> no, no food for you today. I'm not going to do that. Can I tell you God wants to talk to you just that much? But you have to listen to him. So, complete silence, bow your heads, and listen to the presence of God. And it doesn't take long. Now let me tell you how that works. You've cleansed your mind. You've cleansed your heart. The first thing that came into your mind after that process is the still, small voice of God. There's your answer. You see, too many times we excuse that away. We say, oh, well, that was just me thinking. No. When I sincerely come into his presence... And I ask him to cleanse me and to speak to me and to let me know what I need to know from him. He comes running to give you the answers. Don't despise the silence. You can use this technique anytime for anything. And I'm going to tell you it works. I 
ask God just about everything. <laughs> From what I need to eat, to where I need to go, to what I need to say to whoever. And you know what? He talks to me. It's not in thunderings all the time or in earthquakes. It's in my mind and my heart. But when I have my mind and my heart, and he is always set before me, as David says, I don't have to fear. He will lead me through every situation. Thank you, my mother. <laughs>